welcome to Carnaza Echo Park Resort, guys. Let me show you around. We started our journey to Carnaza Island by taking the first bus trip via Maya Dan Pantayan at 4 in the morning from Cebu North Bus Terminal to Tapilon Port. Make sure to ask the bus staff to let you take the trip that goes directly to Tapilon Port as there are different trips to Daan Bantayan. Due to the pandemic, the current available public trip to Carnaza Island from the port is at 1 in the afternoon for 200 pesos. We just got lucky that day to join the private trip to the island in the morning and paid for the same amount.
show you around the woodsheds. Let's go! By the way guys, before I show you around the um, place and show you um, how the woodsheds look like, let me give you one tip. If you come here and if you don't want to rent pillows and blankets, which is worth 300 pesos, if you want to save more money, you can bring your own pillows, like neck pillows and a small blanket, just like what we did. So, let's go! There are a total of 26 woodsheds here at this resort. There's a bed and this will serve as your pillow and it has like a little bit of foam. You don't have to worry about the ventilation because it's windy always. What do you guys think? buying seafood because it's really really always fresh and affordable traveling to a tropical island. You can go to some islands and sandbars like Isla Manok. The prices depend on the type of island hopping you want to avail. It ranges from 600 to 2,500 pesos. On our part, we joined the same group of people after they invited us for this island hopping. They already paid the boat trips, including the return trip to Karnasa Island, for 7,000 pesos. You guys can also avail that. On our part, gladly we only paid 400 pesos each, that includes lunch, and it was really, really awesome. It was an amazing experience, I can assure you guys that. My advice is to try to haggle and look around for the best deals, and you can even try to ask the staffs from the Carnosa Eco Park and see if you can get help. This is Isla Manok. <laughs> Sobrang init dito sa Isla Manok, guys, but look at the view. It's a paradise. It's worth it. I love it.
calmer and beautiful. We didn't miss the chance to check the very interesting area of the place and see how they came up with its name, Skull Cove. The locals said that the story behind its name is about the couple who were stuck here to isolate themselves a very long time ago because of their contagious disease. They died here and their skeletons and skulls were preserved by the locals the small caves in the area served as the couple's shelter back then. We personally checked the area and see how beautiful the place is. We saw the said skeletons and skulls inside the cave which are still there for the tourists to see. The place may really sound and look creepy and scary but it's actually not. It's still a paradise for me with a great story. And just so you know, the locals don't recommend touching the skulls and the skeletons because some locals believe that you may get infected once you touch any of the skulls and the skeletons of the couple. So better not to touch those skulls and skeletons and just respect the place. On our way back to Karnaza Eco Park, the boatmen decided to let us see all the coastal areas and the small villages close to the beach. It's just so wonderful to think that this remote island paradise in the north of Cebu province is at least not polluted compared to some other islands out there. Karnanza Island may be an underrated island in Cebu, Philippines, but it's a very beautiful island and everyone should visit the place. One of the nice things about Karnasa Island is that you can just walk or run around the island and see everything in just more or less one hour by following the small roads. You will never get lost. In fact, you will see some forest sides of the island and breathe some fresh air.
You also have the option to take the land tour by motorbike for 150 pesos and do sightseeing and visit some villages and beaches like Skull Cove and San Golia Beach. But we did walk around the island by ourselves and observed safety measures due to the pandemic. It was an adventure that we enjoyed a lot, especially when we visited the private beaches by ourselves. We went back to Skull Cove Beach and nobody was there that time so it felt really really like a paradise for us it was just so beautiful San Goyu Beach is just more or less 10 minutes away from Carnaza Eco Park by walk. It used to have some wood sheds but got wiped out by the typhoon. This is supposed to be the second resort on the island. The beach here is calmer and still beautiful and it's a perfect spot for sunset too. Aside from the woodsheds, which is just 200 pesos per night, but for two people, you also have the option to rent the tent, which is uh, the same amount that you need to pay. The same with woodsheds. You also have air conditioned rooms for 2,900 pesos, but for four people. More tips you don't have to worry about uh, cooking, as I've mentioned uh, recently. Uh, you guys can bring your own preferred food like marinated meat, like chicken, beef, and uh, pork, or fish, perhaps. But um, I would suggest to buy the local um, seafood here. It's very cheap and very, very fresh and good. And let's say, for example, we had scallops for 180 per kilo and without shells. 300 pesos for the cooking, that's for your entire stay here. So if you plan to stay longer than seven days, that will cover everything, the 300 pesos. So if you, um, you know, ask them to cook anything, um, they will be the one to prepare um, the food. I've mentioned earlier as well that they have this big container of water for 75 pesos. And they also have some groceries here that you um, buy. Um, there were times that we were not able to buy seafood so we opt for some groceries and we paid let's say for the beef loaf for 40 pesos and they will be the one to cook for that it's free and for the coffee just like this one um, this is just for five pesos each and with hot water of course this brandy it's just 140 so if you'll be traveling here by group, you guys will definitely enjoy the place. 
and what else? For noodles, um, they'll be um, cooking um, them for you. Let's say pancit canton or um, flavored noodles for 25 pesos each. And they, they sometimes have um, eggs as well for 12 pesos and pancakes. And um, some Filipino delicacies like puro cheese, that's 5 pesos each. So we usually ordered um, chapoy 5 each. So that's 25 pesos in total, good for, you know, breakfast and snacks already. So you can really save money. there is one island that I want to visit again in Cebu province, that will be Karnasa Island. I just had an amazing stay and social media detox on Karnasa Island. The place will surely not going to disappoint any traveler. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and write your comments below and share your thoughts with me.